Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one. Oh, man. That was Andy Clean. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the killer. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy.
Just a slip there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice body kick. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. And there comes the separation now. Effective punch there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. He is all about that left kick to the body. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Huge block there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Back and forth we go. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Oh, it's a knee. Two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he feels himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Good stick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Right hand punch. And lands an elbow on the inside. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Slips. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Final seconds of round one. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys are evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Oh, 
that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Oh, collar tie. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him fall. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish his fight. Good punch, Lance. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Ooh, head kick, Lance. He's hurt. Look at the rip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Switching stances here. Ooh, big shot lands. Head kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Checks the leg kick. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Unable to connect there. Beautiful body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Over and over, he's landing a big body. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. And a knee. Gets caught with that punch. It's high. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big body kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Beautiful punch. 15 seconds. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Whoa! Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. 
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving the adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. And now establishing that jab once again. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh. Oh. It's broken, I think. Watch the strike. <laughs> oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he got it. Oh, he needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, so a knockdown form in the pro. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big left hand there inside. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Right under the elbow, the body keep laying. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. All right, so a seven blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh! All right, 
there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Lands a switch deep. Oh, and he caught the kick. Right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee. Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just missed with that right hand. Nice punch here. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Wow! Serve him up. We'll get him. Back to the feet. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's kick is blocked. Counters now left hook to the headlands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure 
to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.